It's Tuesday morning, 11.48 in the morning. I got woken up by the dog. He was barking because that's what those dogs do. I didn't get to bed till late last night, so that sucks. I think I'm running on maybe five hours sleep. Go team me. Oh well, forget. We'll, we'll figure things out. And welcome to my vlog. myself a coffee. There it is. I'm trying something called a Mocha Java. I don't know. It's another one of those variety pack ones, so freak it. Well, it is officially 2013, people. 2013. So far, survived two apocalypses, you know, the rapture and uh, December 23rd, 2012. Somebody said, well, you also survived Y2K, but I didn't really call that an apocalypse because I knew nothing was going to happen, even though we had an earthquake on New Year's morning of 2000, but uh, <sighs> that was just, you know, whatever. I knew nothing was going to happen with computers or the banks or anything at all because uh, I was part of the technician group that uh, kind of exploited on that a little bit, you know, offered Y2K support. Hey, leave me alone. I was in college. I needed money. <laughs> I didn't have the option to uh, get OSAP or anything, so yeah, I was a bad, bad guy. But there's a lot of junk we did back in the school days just to make it through. If you didn't get OSAP and you had to pay for it out of your own pocket, sometimes you had to be a little greasy, you know. Holy, oh, let me tell you. Back in 2000, I was going to the reserve, buying cartons of cigarettes, and then I would sell them at the college. Now, the school store would sell cigarettes for uh, like 13, 14 bucks a pack. I was selling them out of the back of my car for six bucks a pack. I was only paying three dollars a pack at the reserve. So, I was making like 100% profit on these things. Then it got to the point where I couldn't keep up with the demand. Like, I was buying, I started off with one carton, which is 10 packs of cigarettes, and I sold those like within minutes. So then I took that money, reinvested it, bought two cartons and four cartons and then eight cartons. Next thing you know, I'm going into the reserve saying, yeah, can I get a box of cartons? So I literally buy a box of cartons, which had 25 cartons or 24 cartons in it, sorry. And I would rock those completely out within like the first four hours, just dumping cigarettes like crazy at school. And it got to the point where I guess my operation was getting too hardcore and the dean was wondering what was going on. So an investigation happened. I had to shut her down and hide. Not a big deal. And then uh, once it, everything cooled down, I started back up operations. You know, did tons of greasy things in college just to afford it. But holy crap, it cost me 10 grand every year. And I didn't have that kind of money. So between working at Walmart while going to school and running that operation, I managed to graduate from college and not owe a dime. So, hey, sometimes you just got to be greasy to get through life. And it's the way she goes. It's the way she goes. Ah, oh, freak's sakes, I already had two coffees. Feeling a little bit better. Still need to pass a brush or a comb through my hair, but frig it. I haven't seen a video from Bloke yet today, so I'm thinking he got pretty devastated last night. So, yeah, I'm just watching something on YouTube here. It's called Video Game High School by Freddie Wong. And, um, yeah, just, just chilling. You know, just, just chilling out. It's been one of those days. Oh well, we gotta go to work in like an hour, two hours, whatever. So, frig it. And I got the urge to play a video game, so. Probably gonna go smoke a cigarette and play a video game. Yep. Just checked Steam and saw that Dead Island was on for six bucks. That's friggin' awesome. I had a hack copy of the game, but the hack copy was dicked. And I couldn't update it, obviously, because it was hacked. And I kinda quit playing it, but uh, now that I have a legit copy, that means I can get updates and stuff. That's cool. I think Crazy Logie has that game too, so we could probably multiplay it. That'd be kind of fun. I don't know, I really like Dead Island. It's a fun game. Well, it was kind of annoying though, because last time I checked, a crowbar doesn't break after smashing it into ten skulls. But I could be wrong. That was the only part about that game that pissed me off, was how quickly weapons break. But throwing weapons, if you throw a crowbar at a zombie, that doesn't break it. They only tend to fall to pieces if you friggin' use them as a weapon, which is weird. Still the best weapon in that game is your foot. You run up and you kick a zombie right in the face. Love doing that. And then when he's on the ground, you just stomp him out. That's fun. I'm going back inside. It's pretty freezing out here. Today's forecast calls for a high of minus 15 and a low of minus 25. Yeah, freaking awesome day today, for sure. Oh well. Tonight, I'm bringing the old Keurig into work. Bruce is gonna 
clean it out and stuff. He knows how to do that with these ones. So we're going to clean her out and that'll be the new coffee machine at work. I'll bring in my Italian roast coffees for that. That's for sure. So I just have one and holy shit are they strong. I love it. <laughs> big yawn kitty. Oh, big yawn kitty. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm just sitting here. What are you doing? Leave me alone. Just laying around as usual, eh? Yes, I'm laying around. Yep. Yeah. Lazy cat is lazy. You're lazy. Alrighty, people. Well, it's 20 to 4 on this beautiful friggin' New Year's Day. And by beautiful, I mean it's minus 12 outside, according to my car. It's always off, though, so just, you know, go with it and things. <sighs> yeah, I'll go to work. It's gonna be a boring night, but at least we got coffee. Well, we're gonna have coffee, because we got a cure you got work now. Why? Because I'm hooking the office up. You know, until somebody breaks it, because that's gonna happen. Freaking dicks. But I got the super cure I got home, so not too worried about it. Not too worried. So I just finished playing a whole bunch of Gotham uh, City Imposter. Not sure if anybody out there has tried that game yet, but if you haven't, it's free to play on Steam, and it's basically a death match. You either play a Joker character or a Batman character, and you shoot each other in the face. Kind of like Counter-Strike or, I don't know, Unreal Tournament. It's a freaking awesome game. I really like it. For a free game, it's just amazing. I also bought Dead Island because uh, Logie was bugging me to buy that one because he wants to play it. And uh, it was on sale today for six bucks on Steam. So I was like, holy shit, six dollars. That's like how much I pay for coffee. Yeah. And by coffee, I don't mean the Keurigs. I mean like when I go to Hortons and have three extra large coffees. So I was like, huh, I'll get that. So we might do some Let's Plays for that on the gaming channel. I don't know. We'll have to see what we get into. So yeah, just gonna make a bunch of freaking bitches, throw them up on the channel where people can enjoy them for what they are. Holy shit, that Jetta got behind me and just freaking ramped up the speed like he wanted to hit me. What an asshat. I forgot my phone at home. I forgot my friggin' iPad at home. Oh, son of a bitch. This isn't good. This is quite possibly the worst night ever now. See, I got distracted. That's what it was. Uh, I was like friggin' 20, 20 after 3. And the girlfriend wanted garbage bags. So I had to go to the garage and get them. And then we're talking about work stuff. Because uh, apparently, mom heard in the news that they want to have the company sold and done with as of uh, mid to end January. For anybody new with the vlogs, uh, just letting you know that I'm probably going to be unemployed come February. And anybody who's not new with the vlogs, well, you already know the bullshit that's going on that the government wants to sell our organization and it's going to suck. But you know what? We'll deal with it when it comes and friggin' figure things out. So. We'll just have to uh, hammer down and fight the good fight and all that other stuff and uh, see what happens when it happens. But yeah, I forgot my phone at home, so that really blows. Kind of sort of wanted that tonight. And my iPad. So that really sucks. Watch, today's going to be the day that Rex texts me to go for coffee tonight. <laughs> and he's going to think I'm ignoring him. Meanwhile, I don't even have my phone on me. Oh, I wanted to go home tonight and play some video games anyway because uh, that's what I do. Should talk to Logie and see if he wants to do some more farming simulator tonight. But uh, chances are we're going to rock some Dead Island, or die as I call it, D.I. Run around and murder face, or get our faces murdered. I'm really not good at that game either. I'm okay with FPS, but... Dead Island's like, holy shit. You go through weapons so fast, like bow doors and broomsticks and stuff, you break them so quick. But he said they fixed that. So, well, I guess we'll have to wait and see. Personally, I think the best weapon in a zombie invasion would be a baseball bat, because you can cause blunt trauma to the zombie's brain and kill them. Katana would be nice, but the problem is, is if you get that sword stuck in the zombie, then you gotta sit there and waste time pulling it out if there's another zombie coming at you. And if you watch any Romero flicks, you'll realize that beheading a zombie might drop the corpse, but the head is still very much alive. 
which makes no sense. Yes, I know. But Romero is the king of the zombies. He wrote the book on them. He wrote the laws on them. And Romero's laws for zombies are awesome. One weapon I would not use in a zombie invasion would have to be a shotgun or any sort of rifle that is very loud. Because we all know that noise attracts more of the horde. And the last thing you need is to shoot one zombie in the face and then have 50 of his buddies come around the corner going dinner time. Because up here in Canada we have a law or we have a limit limiters on our rifles. Some rifles they can be disabled easily, but others you can't because it's built into the rifle, i.e. shotguns. Well some shotguns. Some of them you can take the spring out and load seven rounds into, but others you can't. Um, but like uh, you know a lot of hunting rifles you can only put five rounds into her. And that's it, you're done. The only guns you're allowed unlimited ammo on are rimfire, friggin' 22 caliber uh, little friggin' plinkers. You can have as many bullets as you can fit into a magazine and jam that some bitch in there and give her. But I don't see a 22 really dropping a zombie unless you're pretty damn close. That and it'd be a bitch to get a headshot with a 22 because they have such a quick fallout or fall off or whatever. Uh, even though I can park in the main lot, I like parking over here because then I can see my car from the office and I can start it up without having to walk out of the office. Not that I'm lazy, I'm just smart like that. Anyway people, I'm at work so I'm gonna head her inside. Sorry about all the zombie talk but I freaking love zombies but not in that way. And uh, I'm gonna head her inside and we're gonna fix this Keurig and uh, probably make a bunch of coffee tonight and get right roaring ripped. So, talk to you guys later. Peace out. I don't think maintenance salted the steps enough. I think they missed a couple spots. I don't know. They may have missed a couple spots. You be the judge. Hmm. Yeah, it needs a little bit more salt. Steps are saltier than the fries at McDonald's right now. Holy shit. I wonder if that does damage to the pavement or the concrete or whatever. Well, it's just one of those days, you know. I was chatting with JP because uh, I ordered three more boxes of gung ho and I didn't get the 50% off this time. I was like, okay. Instead, I got 30% off because the link in the description says 50% off plus free shipping. So he noticed the same thing when he ordered his two cases that he ended up paying 30% off, not getting the full 50. So he contacted his boy over at Gung Ho to find out, uh, you know, what's going on. And apparently it looks like the 50% deal that you get off is for your first order. That's it. After that, you get 30% off. So if you haven't ordered yet and you want to do a big ass order of gung ho, make sure it's your first order to get the 50% off. Otherwise, you're only getting 30% off. It's kind of upsetting, but um, I really wish I would have paid more attention when I ordered because apparently there was a pop up that came up that said that. I didn't see it. Well, tonight's a good night. There's no wind. It's, it's freaking cold out though. It's like minus 17 right now. So pretty damn cold. Um, Bruce and I are the only two working. And uh, we've already made like 15 care eggs. It's been awesome. Getting just right caffeinated tonight. Good times. We we're also bitching about how our doctors have the shittiest receptionist known to man, where you call to make an appointment and you're lucky if they call you back to schedule it, you know? So that's always fun. Because I am going to get this yellowing around my eyes checked out, get some blood work done and make sure everything's copacetic. You know, I think it's probably due to sleep deprivation because I haven't been sleeping right lately. You know, mainly because my dog keeps going off like a damn fire alarm. You know, I get to bed at 5 o'clock in the morning and I'm woken up at 10 every freaking day because the dog has to go out for a shit. So I let the dog out and by the time I let the dog out, the cold air hits me and I'm awake. So it's like, well, I'm not going to go back to bed now. But uh, yeah, it probably is due to lack of sleep. Oh well. Owning an animal is like having a kid. Yep, it is very true. Except for, unlike a child, when they turn 18, you don't send them off to college. That's if they last that long, eh? Well, they. Well, then again, my friend's cat did last to 21 years old, so that's right on. So, January 21st marks my third year on vlogging life. That's pretty sweet. And January 23rd is Felix's birthday. Yeah, it's his birthday. Gonna get him a can of wet food, maybe make him a wet food cake or something. I don't know, we'll see. Anyway, I'm freezing my balls off, so I'm gonna head her back inside. Just thought I'd give you guys a little inside information. And uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace the frig out. Well, it's quarter to 11. I completely forgot to come out for break. Whoops. Didn't really have much to talk about on lunch, so I just skipped that entry. So far, all I have to say is this shift was a complete waste of time. Yep, waste of time. There's nothing going on. 
It's deader than a doornail. Yeah, just friggin' bored it of my tree. Bruce, the other guy I'm working with, already made an office cot tonight and passed out for a couple hours. You know, he went for lunch, forgot to log himself out, didn't get a call. Oh, completely dead, boring night. However, that Keurig Mini, yeah, we've been putting that to work tonight. Holy shit, let me tell ya. We've been using the crap out of it. Making freaking crappy Italian roast coffee, which by the way, is very, very crappy. But, figured I'd bring it in, what the hell. You know, we've been making um, other kind of coffees. He brought some, one in called Colombian's Greatest or something like that. It's probably a strong coffee too. Probably gonna knock me on my ass. I have no problems with that. So, that should be right on. So, whenever Dad has a chance and comes over and installs my new power bars, I'm gonna be moving my computer, my XPS 9000, from the bedroom to my office. And that'll be, that'll have, or then I'll have the XPS 8300 and the XPS, okay, frig, I can't even talk today. And the XPS 9000 in the same room, which will be right on. So I'll be able to have the two computers there. And on top of that, I'll be able to have, um, you know, if I'm playing video games on one, I can have the other one rendering the vlog while playing video games. Or if I'm rendering video footage on one, well, you know, you got the idea. I, I'll have multiple computers to use that are both going to be high end, which will be friggin' sweet. And I can use network rendering, which is awesome. Because the girlfriend really wants to use the desk that I have in the other room because she wants to get a bigger monitor than the 22 inch she has now, which is actually my monitor. It's an old Acer 22 inch monitor, and she wants to get a different monitor. For what reason? I don't know, but she wants to, so frig it. But that's all right, because then I'll get my 22 inch back, and I like that monitor. So it'd be pretty sweet. It's definitely getting colder out tonight. Holy shit. It's not really cold, it's damp. Really, really damp. And it just friggin' freezes your skin really quick. Not liking this weather, but whatevs, you know? It's the way she goes. Found something out really cool. There was somebody who sent me a, a lawnmower and farming simulator. That's an upgrade to the uh, little riding tractor that you get. And basically it mows wider and stores more. And then I found out how to hack modded tractors and stuff. Basically the default mower stores like 2,000 clippings of grass. This upgraded mower stores 6,500 clippings of grass. Well I found in the settings on how, well actually in the mod itself, how you can change the width of the cut. Even though the tractor has a short width, I made it wider. It even looks kind of stupid as it's going down because it's like pulling grass from way out, but whatever, who cares. And uh, storing it inside and it's like the same size bucket as the regular tractor you can buy. Just a little riding tractor, zero turn, you know, blah, blah, blah. Except for now, it can store the 165,000 clippings of grass. And takes about five minutes to fill that with the cut I got on it. It's pretty friggin' awesome. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I need to use this mower in my game. But it'd be totally hacks, and I get called on it. Because it is pretty much hacks. But frig it. Anywho, I'm gonna head her back inside. I'm freezing my ball bag off, so I'll talk to you guys when I get out of this place. Peace the frig out. Whoa! It's friggin' midnight. Can you see it? I can't tell. Yeah, you can see. Yeah, minus nine out. I guess it's minus 17 with the wind chill. Frig sakes. I had some of that crystal light tonight. You know, that stuff you add to your friggin' water, the powder crap. My boss gave me a bunch. Well, the bottle I'm using is a piece of shit. And I know it's stuck to the rim. So I got it all over my lips. It looks like I'm wearing friggin' lipstick. Son of a bitch. But, uh, yeah. I gotta wash my face when I get home. <laughs> but, uh, Sure enough, um, I have no idea what the hell I was going to say. Anyway, let's get the frig out of here and go All home. Right, well, I'm home now, and there's probably not much else going on tonight. Just going to chill out, play some video games. Tomorrow I want to see if the haircut place is open, because if you haven't realized it, that thing on top of my head is starting to grow uncontrollably. And it's got to go, so we're going to have to get rid of it. Well, I'm going to edit, upload, and go to bed because I question if that uh, bullshit around my eyes is sleep deprivation because, uh, yeah, I don't get much sleep, so I'm going to edit, upload, and go to bed. So, if you like today's video, you know what to do. Go ahead and hit the like button. Let me know you like the video and I like that. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, you know what to leave in the comment section below. And until next time, people, keep on vlogging. Christmas done and over with is probably better for the stress levels. So that's why I chose to get Christmas off earlier. That buddy Van Duno that I'm working with tonight, he's taking, uh, he needs to get it off because they paid a lot of money to a babysitter to watch the kids. So they can go to a party and have a good night. And like I said, you know, New Year's Eve, it's not really that important to me. Some people, all, you know, they're all excited, they're going to the bars, or what are you guys doing tonight? Or what did you guys do tonight? Because when you watch this,